Welcome back into my office. Brian here with you. We're going to examine this beautiful two-volume set of Turner Gallery. Uh, they're engraved uh, images, plates, and uh, both volumes are in this uh, richly decorated in blind embossed publishers full Morocco. The uh, edges of the text block are all gilt. The edges of the boards have uh, gilt rules as do the turn-ins. The end papers are marbled. Each volume is uh, folio sized, very heavy, a uh, spectacular looking set. It's not common at all really for uh, leather bindings of the 19th century to survive in this type of condition. Uh, this set uh, has some very light minor scuffing uh, in spots, but uh, is probably about as close to uh, as new or as issued condition as one could reasonably uh, hope to find today, uh, given that the set is about 140 or 50 years old. Uh, as we start to look uh, through it, the first thing we'll see uh, is this engraved frontis that's protected by this uh, sheet of tissue guard um, paper, which all of the images have this. Uh, most of the images have some light uh, foxing in the blank margins. Uh, sometimes it does scatter a little bit lightly into the image itself, but it never really is offensive or heavy. We see it's an Appleton imprint. It's in two volumes. Uh, and this is complete. There are uh, 120 uh, or so uh, steel engravings within. Uh, and I'm going to now give you an idea of how they look. As you can see, each engraving is captioned with the engraver's name engraved below the plate, uh, and the artist is named as well. Uh, each engraving uh, is facing uh, a descriptive text leaf, like so. And this is essentially a plate book of engravings. Okay, we'll get, we'll get that to come off there like that. So there's a nautical one. And on it goes through the entire volume. If you flip it this way, it's almost like one of those decks of cards where if you flip it one way, it appears to be uh, all the deck is blank, but if you flip it the other way, all the cards show, and that's what we have here. Uh, this is um, a profusion of very well engraved, well inked, well printed plates, many of them uh, views, landscape scenes, uh, ancient history. There's a nice assortment of nautical uh, imagery within. Uh, these volumes are really monumental. Uh, the paper is all heavy. Uh, yeah, all of this paper stock is a, almost a card stock that the, uh, the prints are, uh, the engravings are printed on. And so we go like this, and this gives you an idea right on through the end. Uh, this uh, image here is probably about uh, the worst of uh, uh, foxing of any of them. It's the last one uh, in the volume. Oh yes, this uh, set will weigh well over, I think, 20 pounds in a box. Each volume must be 12 or 14 pounds, something like this. Uh, again, we see the uh, marbled end papers, really well-preserved set. Uh, yeah, and so here we have Frontis again, seen from Boccaccio. Okay. When they actually, I think, were escaping the plague in Florence uh, on the outskirts and the country. Uh, history seems to repeat itself. Uh, and here we are again with a list of all the engravings. There's 60 in this one, and either 60 or 61 I counted, but uh, we'll do a second count before we actually describe it uh, in detail uh, on the website. We're just going to show you now in the video how the set uh, is, and then we will uh, do the detailed uh, description. Uh, shortly after it is uh, added uh, to our site. And so, again, what we have, you can see it's tight, clean, sound, really uh, a splendid set. And uh, if it interests you, 
this set is available. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> now, online from me, Brian DeMambro.